family welcome back to lightworks i hope that you are doing well if you are new here welcome to the channel thank you so much for clicking on the video if you are returning hey soul family what's going on i hope that you guys again are having a blessed and positive day this is going to be prayer and a scripture the scripture i was guided to is psalms 25 and it reads in you Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are my, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me. For you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful toward those who keep the demands of his covenant. This is such a beautiful scripture to me because it humbles me. It reminds me of who I was of the fact that the Most High God saw me in my entirety, all of my flaws, all the sins, everything I've done in my past, and my slate and your slate has been wiped clean if you've asked God to do so. I'm just grateful to God for going before me to protect me from others, to protect me from my own uh, behavior, my own ignorance of the people I was dealing with, situations I was walking into. Um, I'm thankful for, uh, to God for removing me from situations I was in. There's just a host of blessings that God has poured over us that we may not remember to thank God for. So. I just want to thank God because life could be so different. I think what God is wanting us to know now is that there are so many situations, so many occurrences that took place where God and your angels shifted things around before you stepped foot in a building or before you entered into a connection with someone before you walk through a door, whatever the case is, God made arrangements so that you could still be here today and still be able to say thank you, God. So I'm just in the energy right now of showing gratitude and looking back on myself of the past. Even a year ago, I'm a different person and that's all due to the glory of God and the mercy and grace of God. So let's go ahead and get into prayer. Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for your love, for your guidance, for your peace, for your grace and mercy for going before me and the collective to ensure that we would step our feet in a place that was safe for us so that we could be here today to thank you, be here today to be of encouragement to someone else. I thank you for the good times. I thank you for the trials and tribulations because we learn from every single occurrence, every single thing that happens in our lives. I thank you, God. I pray, God, for those right now who 
are not aware of how much you've done, those that are not aware that you allowed them to live and breathe another day. I pray that you would open their hearts, minds, and spirits to see how blessed they are. I pray for those people that are less fortunate, that are struggling with addictions, people that are homeless, people that are sick, those that have been abused, those that are in domestic violence situations, children that are in domestic violence situations. I pray for every person that has lost their way, those that have known you and strayed away, those that have never known you, God, those that have fallen on hard times and forgotten to connect with you. I pray for that bridge to be restored, that connection to be restored. I pray for the people that are struggling all over this world right now, the people that are struggling in Hawaii, Colombia, Canada, Vegas, all of these places where these natural disasters are occurring right now. I pray, God, that you will restore every home, every vehicle, every broken heart, every person that is dealing with loss right now. I pray for restoration, peace, and resources, unlimited resources for them. I pray for people here and everywhere, all over the country, all over the world, people that are dealing with things that no one knows about. I pray for those people that are dealing with mental health issues, that are too embarrassed to get help, too afraid to get help. I pray for those that are in situations that are unsafe and people are unaware of the people that they're dealing with. I pray for enlightenment for those people. And I pray for regulation of the hearts, minds, and spirits of every person on this planet to be better, to be more compassionate, more loving, more understanding. I pray for peace, God. Peace in this world. I pray for the resources in this world to be distributed accordingly so that there will be no person that goes without. We have too many resources for anyone to ever go without anything. I love you, God. I thank you. Thank you for the angels and divine beings and ancestors that watch over us every day, that protect us from evil and make sure that we are safe. I thank you. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Divine Mother. And so it is, Ashe. Peace and blessings, family. I really hope that this prayer and scripture helped you today. I love you all very much. Remember to show gratitude because we truly are blessed. If you made it to this video, know that God loves you. There was a reason why you needed to hear this message. And I really, again, hope that this just helps you to see how very blessed you are. And if you are feeling lost today, if you're feeling sad today, just call on God. Release everything you are feeling to God and allow God to work in your life, work in your heart, your mind and spirit. Until next time, peace and blessings. Ashe.